Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the monkey feet to train your external hip rotators. This exercise is specifically going to target the middle fibers of the deep lateral hip rotators, the so muscles such as your quadratus femoris, your superior and inferior gemellus, and your obturator internus and externus. For it, you are going to be in a sideline position, and you can use your bottom arm as a pillow. And then in terms of the rest of the setup position, what you wanna do is with the top leg or the non-working leg, you wanna flex the hip and knee to 90 degrees and then plant them firmly on the floor. Then with the bottom leg or the working leg, you wanna flex the femur to 45 degrees and the knee to 90 degrees. Then from this position over here, in terms of the actual execution of the exercise itself, we are going to go into lateral rotation of the femur by driving the ankle up toward the sky. And that is the actual execution of the exercise itself. Now, we're going to go into a couple of common mistakes. Mistake number one is picking a weight that is too heavy that you have to kind of jerk and use momentum to try and lift the weight up off the ground. You want to pick a weight that is appropriate enough that when you're performing the exercise, you're able to isolate the femur as much as possible. Mistake number two is allowing the leg to go into extension. If we end up going into extension, we are going to target more of the anterior fibers of the deep lateral hip rotators. Mistake number three is bringing the leg to 90 degrees. If we end up bringing the femur to 90 degrees, then what's gonna happen is we are going to target more of the posterior fibers. If we wanna target the middle fibers of the deep lateral hip rotators, we need to make sure that the femur is at 45 degrees and that the knee is at 90 degrees. And then the final mistake is either straightening out the leg too much or flexing the leg too much as we go into lateral rotation. If we straighten out the leg too much or if we flex the leg too much, then you're not gonna get as much of an impact and you're not gonna get as much recruitment. So you wanna make sure that the bottom leg is flexed to 45 degrees, the knee is flexed to 90 degrees, you're picking a weight that is appropriate, the hips are nice and stacked, and all of the movement is coming from the femur. But that is the strengthening exercise for the deep lateral hip rotators. So muscles such as the quadratus femoris, the superior and inferior gemellus, and the obturator internus and externus. Thanks for hanging around until the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help out with the algorithm. And also share this video so we can help get this information out to as many people as possible. And also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the icon in the bottom right hand corner and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos. For those of you interested in health optimization, you can check out the video in the top right corner where I discuss the six foundation principles. And for those of you interested in optimizing your performance, then consider becoming a member. It's only $5 per month and you get a ton of perks, including exclusive access to this program design lecture series playlist above my head.